Welcome to the Winking Skeever. Take a load off and enjoy the atmosphere. Welcome to the Winking Skeever, friend. Let's sate that appetite, hmm? Well, as it turns out, I had a pet skeever when I was a boy, and he used to wink. I thought so. I've heard Jari Raz hanging around the Wells District, looking for new blood to hire. I think the Bard's College might be looking for recruits. You should speak to the head of the college, Viarmo, if you're interested. Varnius Junius stopped by here on his way to court. He was worried about something. I'm sure Falk Firebeard could tell you what. People say there's a man wandering the streets near the Blue Palace. He seems distressed, but he's not making any sense. People say there's someone in Riften that can change your face, make you look completely different. Do you believe that? Magic. You're on the wrong side of Skyrim. You want Winterhold. That college there, they teach it. Otherwise, you can try the Jarl's Wizard. I wouldn't, though. Remember the Winking Skeever next time your foot's sore. Spare some gold for a veteran? I was the finest scout in the Legion once. Tracked down all the places in the wilds that were causing people trouble. Lost my helmet in one of the old caves. My pretty, pretty helmet. Life just got worse after that. Kept losing things. So many things. Oh, you could? I sure would love to have it again. Could show you some of my old scouting tricks. What? You see a man falling on hard times, and you think he's been like that forever? I was there. I fought in the Great War. I was on the field at Anvil. And when I was struck down, they left me. You understand? They left me for dead. I didn't leave them. I do miss that helmet.
If you need a good rumor or two, I think I can oblige. Feel free to make requests. Generally, if you want rumors, you should talk to Corpulus. That said, I did see a visitor pass through on his way to the Blue Palace. Oh, no. But being surrounded by good music, good drink, and good friends is all I've ever asked for. Only in that I'm a graduate. I work here at the Winking Skeever. I would highly recommend it, though. Talk to Viarmo if you're interested. You should think about staying the night. Corpulous. By keeps... blade or by spell. If you want it dead, I'll make it dead. All you need to do is pay my fee. The blade can be as lethal as the spell, but deadlier still. I have no business with you. Leave me. Go away. I have more important things on my mind right now. think that. You're missing out on some wonderful opportunities working in that bar. You look new. I'm new too. I think we could be friends. You're passing through solitude? Maybe you're looking to make some easy gold, yes? It's easy to find things to sell. Things nobody will miss. Things from underground, or just left lying around in someone's house. <coughs> I bet the two of us, we're very alike. So why not take the next step? We can help each other. My sister Deja and I are treasure hunters. We like to collect things. I knew you looked like a clever one. With the war, many more ships come through these docks. Loaded with weapons and pay, but few people. And they pass through dangerous waters. We have an interest in one of those boats, the Ice Runner. The Solitude Lighthouse will be guiding it in, but if its fire were to go out, the Ice Runner would run aground. What an interesting idea. I think if someone were to do something like that, there would definitely be a certain amount of loot to be shared. Yes, if someone were to put out the lighthouse fire and then meet me on the docks afterwards, I could certainly direct them to that loot. <coughs> Don't worry about them. We'll make sure they wash up safe. Maybe they'll even pay us for the heroic rescue from their sad crash. It would be best if we spoke little until you've come. Go to thinking. Maybe I'm the Dragonborn. I just don't know it yet. You wouldn't have a few minutes to run down to the docks, would you? Well, I've got a shipment of spices the East Empire Company is holding up. I need someone to convince them to release it. Great. Get back to me when you're done and I'll give you something for your time. Oh, yes. A secret family recipe. The only good thing my father Octiev ever did. In fact, it's so good, no one else in Skyrim even tries to make any. They're... adequate. Honestly, 
I rely on the business brought in by the burning of King Olaf, and that's not likely to happen this year. Well, it's a great big festival put on by the bards every year. They burn an effigy of old King Olaf. It's quite a bit of fun. The bards give out spiced wine during the festival, so they put it in a big order. And then, for weeks after, demand is so high, I can barely keep up. But with the death of High King Torig, the festival has been declared in poor taste. So it looks like it won't happen this year. Good luck out there. It seems like a tough time to be wandering Skyrim. You look like you could do with a ripe apple, or a tomato, cabbage, or, or leek. That I do. I had a messenger from Dragon Bridge stop here on his way to the Blue Palace not too long ago. He was very nervous. Mentioned something about needing help. I have my ways, but it's not easy these days. The Black Blood Marauders have been plundering ships off the coast. A lot of people been hurt by their foolishness. Come back when you figure out how to spend money. Plenty of fresh fish for you. Svari, yes. It's been hard on her. The girl misses her uncle. I've tried to explain that Rogvir did something bad, and that we all have to be accountable for our actions. But the child feels what she will. Down at the docks. There are a few good spots if you can avoid the East Empire company workers and those red wave thugs. These are troubled times. Be on your guard out there. Nope. Sorry. Nothing. Sorry, I was lost in thought. I'm planning my wedding, you see. So many details to work out. Some say I got my position because my cousin is the Emperor. Nonsense. The man's given me nothing. He can't even be bothered to attend my wedding. Ah, yes. If she wants to pay the 2,000 gold tariff, then we'll be all set. Exception. I do like her spiced wine. Fine. Tell Yvette's son her shipment will be brought up to Solitude shortly. Huh? Good business for the East Empire Company means all the more gold for the Empire. I don't have time for anyone too lazy or cowardly to make their own way.
Hello, I'm Gizli. But you can just call me Erica's sister. Everyone does. But what about those who depend on you so Yes, my older brother. And the person you probably want to be speaking to right now. But really, since Torig's death, Falk Firebeard wields the true power of the Jarl's court. My brother is nothing more than a pompous little fop. Oh, if you're looking for a good attitude, go see the bards. They'll fake it for you, if nothing else. If you're looking for truth instead, see Noster. He's a good example of what life has to offer. And if you're just looking to feel good, go get some spiced wine from Yvette. But whatever you do, just leave me alone. I found the bone. I found we'll speak again later, if we must. The winking skeevers got warm beds and cold meat. Look like you could use both. Fletching suits mm, me. It's spiced wine for you? Tedious, it's a family recipe. A well -made arrow Thank you so much. Like I swear it's a fight with them every shipment. Here's something for your troubles. Be careful. out there. Hello, friend. Just what you see here. Good luck out there. Feel free to look around. We have a fine selection of herbs here at Angel. You're a traveler, correct? Have you been to White Run? Wonderful. I hadn't really hoped to run into someone who'd been there. My daughter Fura was assigned to White Run after she joined the Imperial Army. I was hoping you might have met her. I haven't heard from her lately. I've tried talking to Captain Aldous, but he hasn't been any help. Oh, that's very sweet of you. Anything you can find out from Captain Aldous would be welcome news. No, no. Mostly, I'm just a simple herbalist. We mostly carry herbs and alchemical. These days, we have more people like you coming in, looking for healing and the like. So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Don't forget me next time. You were there for Rogvir's execution. Perhaps, but necessary. My cousin Fura is somewhere out there in Skyrim right now, fighting Ulfric Stormcloak and his damns insurrectionists. She wouldn't have to be there at all if it weren't for Rogvir. And my aunt wouldn't have to worry about her daughter. <laughs> you really don't know? He lets Ulfric Stormcloak escape solitude. Ulfric rides in, murders the High King, and Rogvir lets him ride right back out. 
Most people head over to the Winking Skeever. If you're not interested in music or drink, you can at least talk to Corpulus. He can fill you in on any of the latest gossip. People to see and places to go, huh? Later then. Welcome to the center of the world. Or at least my brother Eriker's world. Hello, yes. I'm the Dean of History and scribe work when I can find some quiet time. Ah, yes. Adonato's new work. Shorter than I expected, but words must be judged on merit, not length. I'll look over this later. Why don't you take this for your trouble? I suppose I should return to my papers. said you got here just before the execution. Must have been a lovely first sight. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Odds and ends, that sort of thing. my husband. He works the forge up at Castle Dower. I barely see him nowadays, what with him filling orders for the army. No, that was an ugly affair. High King Torig's death has turned the whole town on its head. Between you and me, he wasn't even that good a king. 
All of those rambling speeches about the Empire this and the Empire that. Make sure to recommend us to your associates. talk I shouldn't be promises if I do people are gonna ask about uncle Rogvir maybe if I don't talk they won't either dragon really was it big did it breathe fire oh wow I knew it I knew they were real I have to remember to tell Papa. Thanks. Papa talks about it some. Mom doesn't say much since Uncle Rogvir died. He doesn't even go to Temple anymore. I wish he would. At least that way she'd have people to talk to. Yeah, that's what Papa says too. Watch what you're doing. Watch the skies, traveler. Sibyl Stentor has a grasp of magical theory that I would never have expected from a human, even a Breton. No doubt most folk in Skyrim consider the dragons terrifying. I find them wondrous. I make sure Erica keeps breathing. No, that honor is Sabeel Stentor's. A smart man steers clear of Stentor. And keeps himself out of the dungeon when she's having a bad day. Let's just say that the headsman's axe may not be the worst way for a solitude jail prisoner to die. Look at that. I've told you to watch your tongue, and mine is waggling. I've said enough. Oh, I think you'll find that magic is rare in Skyrim. Winterhold, though, the college there has it in abundance. Look there if you wish to learn. You are free to leave. Oh, hello. Just tidying up. Everyone knows General Tullius wields the real power in solitude. Elisif, 
Yeah, that's a figurehead. A puppet. I swear to you, unnatural magics are coming from that cave. There are strange noises and lights. We need someone to investigate. Then we will immediately send out a legion to scour the cave and secure the town. Hafengar's people will always be safe under Your my Eminence, rule. my scrying has suggested nothing in the area. Dragon Bridge is under Imperial control. This is likely superstitious nonsense. Perhaps a more tempered reaction might be called for? Oh, yes, of course, you were right. Falk, tell Captain Aldous I said to assign a few extra soldiers to Dragon Bridge. Thank you, Jarl Elisif. What about the cave? I will have someone take care of the cave as well, Varnius. You can rest easy. You're dismissed. Be quick. I have little patience for mundane concerns. If you have business, please see Falk Firebeard, my steward. Not yet, no. Although it is true my husband Torig was the High King, and I am his widow. Now is not the time to lay claim to such a title. This land is riven by war, and her people suffer for it. The Stormcloaks are a blight on Skyrim, and like any blight, must be purged. Only then will I take my rightful place as High Queen. Oh, I thought that matter was handled. I think Falk is taking care of that. Hmm. A question I am all too familiar with. One my very thanes ask often. They worry that Tullius is so focused on the war that he risks forgetting what's best for our people. The real irony is that, while General Tullius is certainly no Nord, the people of Skyrim would be lost without him. Trust is always difficult, especially for my people. Yet we must trust in Tullius' leadership. For what other choice do we have? Because that's what traitorous cowards do when they desire power. Ulfric coveted the High King's throne. He thought he deserved it more than Torig. And so he came before my husband and he... He shouted. With that terrible voice. Like something out of a legend. Or a nightmare. When Ulfric unleashed such fury... My husband, he... He simply ceased to be. That is all I will say. For it grieves me to speak of it. Be well. Pray for solitude and my husband. Do you have business with the court? Of course he does. What sort of a question is that? Maybe you've been listening to Eriker. There's been loose talk among some of the Thanes. And I suspect he's the cause of it. You'll pay those rumors no heed, if you wish to retain your welcome in this city. She may be young, but Elisif is the Jarl by right. And here in Skyrim, if nothing else, we respect the traditions of our father's fathers. You do well to remember that. You mean the Dragon Bridge issue? I'll be honest with you. I was planning to let that go. Varnius is a bit jumpy at the best of times. There have been reports of weird happenings near Wolfskull Cave. Travelers disappearing, odd lights. I suspect wild animals, or perhaps bandits. I don't think it's worth our time with the war going on. But if you want to clear out the cave, I'll make sure you're repaid for your work. The cave has a bad history. Long ago, Potema the Wolf Queen used it for necromantic rituals. That's where it got the name. That was over 500 years ago. Nothing much down there now. But everyone's always convinced the cave is haunted. That remains to be seen. But we must have the support of the other Jarls for that claim to have any meaning. Should they accept her rule, 
we will have peace. Feel free to return to me with questions. The Blue Palace is an open forum. Please address all questions to the steward, Falk Firebeard. If I needed something from you, you would know it. I was to my shame. The whole court was in attendance. I've seen much in my time, but that was a gruesome day. Because Ulfric needed a symbol. Someone he could defeat that represented the Empire. The White Gold Concordat. The banning of Talos' worship. Torig's father Islot had held Skyrim together for nearly 25 years. When he died, Torg became that symbol. No, even after Islot died, the moot voted to make Torig High King of Skyrim. But Ulfric was at that moot, continually talking about Skyrim's independence in terms just shy of treason. I don't think Ulfric knew how much Torig respected him for that. If Ulfric had asked Torg directly to stand up, to declare independence, Torg might have done it. Because the Dominion is a sleeping beast that Skyrim cannot slay alone. Because many Nords are part of the Imperial Army even now. Because the food and resources we get from the Empire are important to our people. Because even if we can't openly worship him, Talos the God was once Tiber Septim the Man, and this is his Empire. And Torg wasn't ready to let it fall apart. I have no time or patience for a student. Perhaps the College of Winter. I was a member of the court during the reign of Torg's father. It was Torg who appointed me to the position. I like to think I've aged well. I'm certainly wiser than I once was. And I know when one should speak and when one should hold their tongue. Nothing. I'm busy, and I don't like being bothered unless I'm expecting something from you. Oh, don't give me that look. Fine, I suppose I can find some menial task to set your mind on. Hmm. We have something of a vampire problem. Bodies have been found with blood drained. I know of a den nearby you can wipe out as a precaution. I don't expect you to be capable of even that. Hmm. I had you figured for a mage. I think you'll appreciate this. Take a look. Empires are clever hunters. More clever than you, definitely. You've only scratched the surface.
The Imperials are good for business. I'm a Thane. In the future, you may want to gain that information before talking with someone. Risk of looking like an idiot and all that. Oh, most certainly. At least when Elisif herself asks. If you're inquiring whether we have concerns about her age and inexperience, the Thanes have every confidence in General Tullius's leadership. Good. We've wasted enough time here. Do you have business with the court? Feel free to return to me with questions. The Blue Thane Palace Bryling, is an open forum. at your forum. service. Be quick. I have little patience for mundane concerns. Be careful. Hands to yourself, sneak thief. Unless we have specific business, I'm not interested. Served to bards at designated times. Find an inn if you want to make requests. Welcome to the Bards College. I'm the headmaster here. How may I help you? Always a pleasure to meet a prospective bard. You should be aware that many apply, but we accept very few people. When possible, we ask applicants to perform tasks the college needs completed. In this case, I do have a task befitting an aspiring bard. Elisif has forbidden the burning of King Olaf, a festival put on by the Bard's College. We need to change her mind. To convince her, I want to read King Olaf's verse, a part of the poetic Edda, the living history of Skyrim. Unfortunately, the verse was lost long ago. Yes. According to Giraud, our history's keeper, the portion of the Edda dealing with King Olaf might still exist in Dead Man's Respite. I need you to retrieve the poem. Uh, not much, but as a bard I find the whole affair depressing. There are no heroes in this war, no winners to be had, and no real conclusion. If you want something a bard can dig into, look to the dragons. A thousand years from now, Skyrim will have changed rulers dozens of times. But the return of the dragons, that story is once in an era. Not much, to be honest. Their return was a shock to us all. Gerard Germain has some tomes about them in the library, if you're interested. I think Giraud here would give you the best explanation of both it and the history of King Olaf's verse. You should speak to him about it. As you may be aware, Elisif's husband, High King Torig, was recently killed. Elisif mourns her husband deeply, and she feels that a festival that burns a king in effigy is... distasteful. I tried to convince her the festival is many centuries old and celebrates solitude, but I need proof. I believe King Olaf's verse will provide that proof. I wish you luck in finding the verse.
It's been my honor to perform at the Blue Pal... It's on many occasions. His late... I wish only to graduate and enroll with the Leap. My drums will lead our troops to victory. Trouble? That field is full of distractions. Ignore them. Focus on your... Fletcher in all the land. Hello and welcome. Take a look. Also be needing the bow that shoots rainbows, or perhaps a quiver that dispenses beer. Look, if you want arrows, we have them, but don't insult my intelligence. Perhaps I'll be seeing more of you. Be careful! Weapons forgiven, and armor forgotten. Seems there's no end to the needs of the Imperials. What can I help you with? Anytime you need arms or armor, my force never rests. We're here to teach you a lesson. Never should have come I won't leave here alone.
by a master craftsman. As High Priest of the Eight Divines, I bid you welcome. Seems there's a the finest weapons and armor. Return any time you need arms or armor. My forge never rests. Got some fun. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Safe and always wear your armor. Yeah? Need a weapon? Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Aye. Wanderer like you must have plenty of tales to tell. But I'm afraid I'm too busy to hear him. Arms and armor, forged by a master craftsman. What do you want, lizard? Seems there's no end. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage?
Return anytime you need arms or armor. My forge never rests. Hi. Keep safe, and always wear your armor. Proudspire Manor. Now there's a fine one. For sale, too. If you're interested, talk to the steward in the cleaver. Huh? If you're heading to the Blue Palace, you might want to rethink that outfit. Hmm, if you ever want to replace those old rags, nothing at all. It's very nice. If you want something with a little more style, however, you should come by our shop, Radiant Raiment. We could fix you right up. You're really going to the Blue Palace? That presents an opportunity. If you are willing to wear one of Radiant Raiment's outfits and speak to the Jarl, I would not only pay you, but let you keep the outfit. Good. Here's the outfit. Try to get Elisif's opinion on it, and if she likes it, mention it's from Radiant Raiment. It's not an insult. If I were walking around with a wound, I would want you to tell me to see a doctor. Your outfit is something of an open wound, where a tire is concerned. Remember Radiant Raiment when you need a change of attire. Ted? Someday a gallant hero will ride up and take me away. Someday. Papa says I won't see Rob here anymore. But he wouldn't tell yes. me why not. Fletching suits me. It's difficult and sometimes tedious. But a well-made arrow strikes forth like the fury of a god. I'm a little busy at the moment. I've got all sorts of errands to run. You were there for Rob Veer's execution. True, I may look the part of dashing swordsman, but I prefer the art of wit to that of warfare. Welcome to the center of the world, or at least my brother Eriker's world. We'll a sharp again mind later, beats a sharp blade any day. Words Seems to there's always more to be done. You could say that. I own the place. Well, okay. My father owns the Winking Skeever, but it's the family business, so it'll be mine when he kicks off. I showed up to watch, yeah. I don't know if they were right to execute him for what he did, but I'll tell you something. It couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. Listen, Rogvir and I grew up together. It was us, a few others, and Vivian. Vivian Onus. I have no idea why, but one day I told Rogvir I liked her. It was a stupid thing to do. He mocked me incessantly after that. 
From that point forward, every time Vivienne and I were anywhere close to each other, he made sure to humiliate me. He beat me up, dumped meat on my head, anything he could get away with. Once he even slipped a beehive into my bed. We were children, sure, but Rogvir never outgrew that immaturity or his cruelty. So any talk about him being an honorable Nord? Ugh, pure folly. <coughs> Jarl Elisif the Fair. Poor woman. Losing her husband and king like that. It was a dark day for us all. Damn. That reminds me. I have a delivery to make to her steward, Falk Firebeard. He ordered a special bottle of Strauss Mackay rum. Saved me a lot of trouble. Here. Take it to the Blue Palace. Now nah, I was done talking anyway. If you need a good rumor or two, I think I can oblige. Need something? So exciting when new folk come into town. I bet you've had plenty of adventures. Welcome to the center of the world. Or at least my brother Eriker's world. Seems there's always more to be done. I have no business with you. Leave me. Traitors, civil wars, dragons. <laughs> Welcome to the Winking Skeever, friend. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Have you met I want to rob you. The man's as trustworthy as a Khajiit goldmonger. Need something? anything else you need. Feel free to make requests. If you need a good room There's nothing like a good song to lift the spirit in troubled times. <laughs> 